Mr. President, as you know, generations of Americans have been students of Richard Nixon, admirers and detractors. Even your admirers describe you as a complex man. We're all a little self-critical at some time in our lives, uh, some more than others, of course. In the autumn of your years, as you are reflective about your own life's experiences, personal and as a politician, what criticism do you have with your own behavior or style or things that you've done? As president. As president or as a human being? Well, we don't have much time to cover the, the human <laughs> being. Let's start with the president. Uh, first, naturally, the Watergate matter should have been handled properly. Uh, I should have concentrated on, and, and apart from the fact that it was wrong, it was stupid. And generally, I, I'm called many things, but uh, not often am I called stupid. I would say the major mistake I made as president was one, and this will surprise you, was not doing in early in 1969 what I did in, on May 3rd of 1972 and on December 15th of 1972. And that was to bomb and mine North Vietnam. I wanted to do it. I talked to Henry Kissinger about it. But we were stuck with the bombing halt that we had inherited from the Johnson administration with Paris peace talks. I knew that just like the ceasefire talks down here in Nicaragua, I didn't trust them at all. And they proved to be, of course, phony. But if we had done that then, I think we would have ended the war in Vietnam in 1969 rather than in 1973. That was my biggest mistake as president. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.